So as well as our DIY contest. And you know what? It's the time to get outside and just, yes. in this case, hang around. Hey, oh, yes. yes. Wow. Just sit this is really a, but, well, uh, <laughs> I didn't mean it that way, but it is. It, this is a wonderful, wonderful yeah. chair. This is, and it's so easy. Now, I've always looked at hammocks, and I yeah. love the idea of doing a hammock, but I'm always scared about knots. Because I don't think I can do a right knot that I would actually trust me or my yeah. friends yeah. to sit in. Not anymore. Not, not the anymore. case anymore. I don't get a rim shot for that one. Wait, oh. Oh, well, you've been working. There you go. Thank you. You've been yes. working on this since this morning, so let's take a look at what you did. Yes, and okay, this is how I got started. I actually bought a blanket, so you can see that over in the corner, and it's a cotton blend. The first thing I do was measure my rope. I got nylon rope, so it's nylon center in the core there. It's nylon core rope, and I it's. A one quarter inch here. I also used a three eighths inch, but that's later. Measured those to six feet, and then I measured from the outside, I measured eight inches in and used, this is one of the key things here. Now this is actually a marble that we found in the house, but you can actually use like a, a nut or a bolt rock. or something you have it. A, a rock, ball. golf ball would be a little bigger, oh. same thing. You could definitely do it. Now this is how you make the knot, and I'll show you guys this once we come out live as well. But you take this double knot, you go over twice, and then put the top one behind the back one. Take your little marble and pull as hard as you can. Now the great thing about this knot is the more pressure you put on it, the tighter it will get. So that's what I was really worried about, because right. you don't want it to loosen up over time. This will actually get tighter over time. Right. So you do this in all four corners, eight inches in, and then you go along the side, and I did, I did five total, so with my blanket that I have here, it was nine and three quarters inches in, and I went and tied all the way down. So now you can see, this is just a blanket and tying. And yeah. if you look over there, it looks like a chair, but it's oh, actually yeah. not. It's something you guys might even have this at home. Get it, it is not, not. K-N-O-T not. not. Okay. Um, it's just blanket and pillows and rope tied That's in a it. knot, yes. And so these, this is what I used for the, those uh, marbles. You can see it's not like a real marble. Yeah. Um, it's the kind you use in vases right. as a vase okay. filler. And right. honestly, I just went looking inside the house to see what you guys have. Right. You have a lot of these. I you have, have less now. I know. <laughs> you have less now. Okay. Well, the purpose really is to keep the rope from well, exactly. Yeah. Yep. So it kind of just creates that barrier there. Could you use something if you wanted to do like a big accent? Could you use like a rounder yeah, ball? Yeah. I think that would be even a piece ball. of fruit. Yeah. Even you know? <laughs> well, that might after, after time. A while, yeah. yeah. Probably yeah. wouldn't yeah. be best. Okay. Now to take it from here, I want to show you guys this knot again that you saw there in the free This is important. This is really important. This is what took I wasn't away my a Boy fear. Scout, so you got to go slow. Yeah. Okay. okay. I wasn't either. So okay. I learned this today from J.K. Our wonderful, oh, he's not yeah. master. Well, he has yeah. a him. lot of lights and things here. Yes. At the yeah. studio, so he okay. Has. So you take the end in one hand. So it's pointed towards you. Okay. Yep. And then go over right once. Go over twice. So you've got okay. two, basically two little rings there. Mm -hmm. And then instead of just going like that, you take it and you push it that top one in the back. Does that make sense? Okay. Yep. Got it. So that, that was my regular. You just take it and put it in the back. It's almost kind of like you could use them as glasses uh -huh. and then just put that one over. So now what this does, we put this up here. This right. actually creates a tighter knot and then you can do this. It's called a half, what is it? A half stitch, a half knot? Yeah. It's a half something. <laughs> you use that to tie it off. Have or have not. To have or have not. There you go. With the K and OT. The, no. Why don't you try one? You, can, you oh, think you uh, can? I don't know if I can or not. I or not. Or not. Uh, <laughs> All right. So the best way to do this is to get a two inch dowel, hang this above, and if you guys, if you pan up a little bit higher, or tilt up, you will see that there's a crazy knot up there. I'm going to show you guys how to do that on Facebook. Oh, Facebook. So if you okay. want to know, head to our Facebook page, that will be on there, because it's very fun. I just learned how to do that one as well. Uh, is his, uh, is so that this too way? Yep, wide? one this over. Way? Yep, and is another that one. Is big? No, that's okay. No, it's okay? Yep. And then one more? Nope, just the two. Okay. And then take that apart, that second one. There. Yep, yep, yep. And put that in on the back. That side. Even moving my hands, you're doing it all. You realize? <laughs> <laughs> put this on there. And the easiest thing to do now is to put all four corners. I did up. it. I yeah, you were, you're so good. I, so yes. Good. Yeah, Mark's fantastic. Okay, so now you take the other one and hang it up as well. It's easy to start with the four corners, and then I just kept going. Look, it's is there going to be uneven though? This is longer than that. No, actually, so the one I made it was all uneven, okay. and I just took to it, trimming oh, great. it at oh, the okay. end. So come on over here. Yes. And let me show you this. 
Yes, so each one, so there's one, two, three, four, five. And then I hung one back here to kind of give that balance if you're gonna lean back right. and enjoy. You don't wanna flip over. You don't wanna flip over. <laughs> yes. no. Special kind of rope? No, it is a nylon center, which is stronger. They also have paper centers. Okay. Make sure you get a nylon center because that's going to give you the strength that it needs. All right. Um, and then you just do that knot all the way up. This we got five lovely. here, two in the back, and then add your favorite pillows. And it becomes, it is so comfortable and it's so wonderful. And it's like a little hanging chair hammock. And you're going to remind everybody that you're going to do the knot on our Facebook page. Here's on the Facebook page. Yes, wonderful. I'm so excited about this. You guys wonderful. check it out. I'll also show you how to do this knot. Again. How much is Christina going to spend on this for me? <laughs> It's cheap. Trey, I'm gonna put this in your dressing room. <laughs> oh, it's cheap. If you just need the, the rope and the blanket, you're gonna spend yeah. under $10. All of this cost me $30. So as well as our DIY contest, and you know what? It's the time to get outside and just, yes. in this case, hang around. Hey, oh, yes. yes. Wow. Just, this is really a but, but, well, uh, <laughs> I didn't mean it that way, but it is. It, this is a wonderful, wonderful yeah. chair. This is, and it's so easy. Now, I've always looked at hammocks, and I yeah. love the idea of doing a hammock, but I'm always scared about knots because I don't think I can do a right knot that I would actually trust me or my yeah. friends yeah. to sit in. Not anymore. Not, not. 